The movie kicks off by introducing a hitman named Lump. He had just returned home, only to discover his entire family had been brutally murdered by a ruthless mafia group. Filled with rage and sorrow, Lump swiftly armed himself with a sword, determined to seek vengeance by going after the mafia group's headquarters. Upon reaching their hideout, Lump showed no mercy as he ruthlessly took down all the members of the mafia. Once he had dealt with them, Lump turned his attention to the Mafia leaders, including their boss. With unwavering determination, Lump succeeded in eliminating every last one of them, leaving no survivors. Two decades had passed, and Lump now led a quiet life, taking on various odd jobs around the marketplace. After completing his daily tasks, he would return to his modest home in a nearby village. During this time, Lump had remarried, finding love again with a widow, and they had a loving bond with her daughter, Hien. Despite being her stepfather, Lump cared for Hien as if she were his very own. One day, Hien excitedly shared with her mother that she had been offered a job in the city by a man named Tien. Hearing this, Hien's mother became concerned and began to inquire about how long she had known Tien and what kind of work he was offering. Hien explained that she had only met Tien the previous week but believed him to be a trustworthy person. Despite her daughter's optimism, Hien's mother worried about her safety and strongly advised her against going to the city, especially given her recent acquaintance with Tien. Hien had grown tired of their life in poverty in the village and was determined to leave. She became increasingly insistent, even scolding her parents for their reluctance. Lump tried to calm Hien down explaining that her mother's concerns were rooted in love and worry for her safety. Despite his efforts, Hien raised her voice, declaring that she would go to the city with or without their permission. Reluctantly, Lump eventually agreed to let Hien go, but she must keep her mother informed. A few hours later, Hien met with Tien, and as they departed together, they caught the eye of a local tailor. On the evening, both Lump and Hien's mother were filled with anxiety as they had not received any word from Hien. However, relief washed over them when Hien finally contacted her mother to let her know that she had safely arrived and was doing well. Hearing this news, Hien's mother and Lump felt a sense of reassurance. She then advised her daughter to return home as soon as her job interview was concluded. Later, the scene shifted to Hien, who was inquiring about her upcoming interview with a woman. As she waited, Tian arrived with some of his associates, revealing his sinister plan to sell Hien. Recognizing the danger, Hien attempted to flee, but she was captured by Tian's group. Meanwhile, Lump and Hien's mother were growing increasingly anxious as the hours passed without Hien's return. It was now 2 a.m., and Hien's phone was no longer reachable. The following day, Hien's mother and Lump decided to report her as missing to the police. However, the police explained that they would initiate a search after 48 hours had passed, mentioning an increase in reports of missing girls and urging parents to remain cautious. Hearing this, Hien's mother and Lump were filled with dread. Lump embarked on a search for Hien, questioning neighbors who commuted to the city about any sightings. After a day of inquiries, Lump fortuitously encountered a neighbor who worked as a tailor. The tailor shared that he had witnessed Hien being picked up by a suspicious man the previous day. By chance, he had taken a selfie with one of his customers, and in the photo, Tien was clearly visible. It finally dawned on Lump that the man responsible for Hien's disappearance was Tien, the one who had offered her the job. Lump decided to seek help from an old friend, Lu, the leader of a local gang in the market, and who owed Lump a favor from the past. Lump inquired with Lu about Tian's identity and whereabouts. When Lu saw Tian's photo, he was shocked because Tian was notorious for leading a gang that kidnapped young girls. Lu promptly ordered his men to track down Tian's location. After a few hours of waiting, Lump received word from Lu's group that Tian was currently at a massage parlor. Lu offered Lump the option to have his men accompany him, but Lump declined, expressing gratitude for Lu's help. Lump then rushed to the massage parlor, where he initially faced resistance but insisted on entering. Before Lump could confront Tian, some of Tian's henchmen suddenly attacked him. However, Lump proved to be stronger and defeated all of Tian's men. Not long after, 
Lump entered Tien's room and demanded to know where he and was. Tien, now defenseless, admitted that he had sold he and to an international mafia group, and he had no idea of her current whereabouts. However, he suggests that Lump could seek out a man named Think, who was frequently seen at the Central Market and might have more information. Without hesitation, Lump hurried to the Central Market in search of Think. Eventually, he located Think, who turned out to be a trusted associate of an international mafia boss. Think attempted to escape, leading to a chase between them. Unfortunately, during the pursuit, Think managed to get away after Lump accidentally collided with a motorcycle. Later, Lump found himself in police custody, brought before a detective who then escorted him to meet the police chief. The police chief inquired about Lump's pursuit of Think, to which Lump explained that his daughter had been kidnapped by Think's group. Hearing this, the police chief advised Lump to refrain from pursuing Think further, as the police were already investigating Think's group. They were concerned that Lump's involvement might complicate the ongoing case. As Lump left the police station, the police chief ordered the detective to discreetly keep an eye on him. Meanwhile, Lump's wife was paid a visit by Tian's group, seeking revenge for Lump's earlier altercation with Tian. Tian directed his anger towards Lump's wife, leading to a confrontation. During the brawl, Lump became preoccupied with concern for his wife's safety. This distraction allowed Tian's group to corner Lump. Just as the situation seemed dire, a neighbor alerted everyone that the police had arrived, causing Tian's group to halt their aggression. There was also a blue-haired woman in the vicinity who appeared to be observing Lump's house. Lump's wife pleaded with him to promise that he would save their daughter, he and. Lump agreed and promptly rushed his wife to the hospital. The story shifts to he and, who is now imprisoned with other girls, all bound for Cambodia to work as entertainers. On the next night, we meet an international mafia boss named Tung. The blue-haired woman is revealed to be one of Tung's trusted associates. Tung is furious with Tian for selling Hien, who happens to be Lump's stepdaughter. Tung mentions that Lump is a former notorious hitman, even infamous among the mafia circles as a fearsome figure. Therefore, Tung instructs the blue-haired woman to eliminate Tian without delay. Meanwhile, Lump approaches a man who used to be a hitman, much like himself. He confides in the man about his daughter being kidnapped by an international mafia group led by Tung. Tung has two loyal associates, Fink and the blue-haired woman. Lump then asks for information on where to find Tung. The man reveals that Tung owns an art gallery in the city center, making it a likely place to locate him. Without wasting time, Lump heads straight to Tung's art gallery. Before entering, he approaches a man outside and asks him to contact Lu. Lump tells the man that if he doesn't come out within an hour, he should give Lu his phone number and some cash, to which the man agrees. Inside the gallery, Lump must confront Tung's henchmen, who are disguised among art statues. Despite their disguise, Lump's sharp instincts allow him to eliminate them one by one. He continues to face Tung's henchmen, cleverly hidden among the statues, and defeats each of them. In the following room, Lump encounters a group of female warriors, tougher opponents than the previous ones. However, with his exceptional skills, Lump eventually defeats them as well. As Lump prepares to search for Tung in another room, he suddenly finds himself captured. When cornered, Tung arrives on the scene with his henchmen, including Think. Tung mentions that he's aware of Lump's brutal past, but believes Lump is now powerless and about to meet his end. He orders Think to take care of Lump and directs him to dispose of Lump elsewhere, avoiding any bloodshed in his art gallery. After Tung leaves, Think proceeds to beat Lump mercilessly. He then orders his henchmen to take Lump away. But before doing so, Think reveals that he had visited the hospital where Lump's wife was being treated. There, he posed as a doctor and brutally murdered Lump's wife to prove his claims. Think shows Lump the necklace that belonged to his wife, confirming his dreadful deed. Lump, consumed with rage and grief, is about to retaliate, but Think immediately shocks him with electricity. Just as Think and his henchmen are about to load Lump into a car. Suddenly, Lu's group arrives just in time, rescuing Lump from Think and his men. They swiftly take Lump to their headquarters. The next morning, 
Lump regains consciousness and is surprised to find himself at Lou's headquarters. Lump inquires about his wife's condition, and Lou sadly informs him that she had been killed. However, the most important thing now is to save Hien before she was taken out of the country. Lou reveals that Hien is currently on a ship headed overseas with Tung's group. Upon hearing this, Lump is determined to rescue Hien. Although Lou offers his strong desire to assist Lump, Lump believes that Lou has already helped him enough and declines the offer of further assistance. Not long after, Lump arrived at the harbor and set off in a speedboat to pursue the ship carrying Hien. After an extensive search, he finally located the ship, which was transporting Hien and other hostages. Lump managed to sneak aboard the ship and wasted no time in eliminating Tung's henchmen one by one. As he moved to another cabin, he discovered a gathering of Tung's henchmen prepared to confront him. Lump found himself outnumbered and overpowered by Tung's henchmen. Just when it seemed like he might be defeated, Lu's group arrived on the scene. Lu himself faced off against Tung's trusted associate, the blue-haired woman who proved to be a formidable opponent, nearly overpowering him. Fortunately, at the brink of defeat, the detective who had been tailing Lump, as instructed by the police chief, arrived. With his intervention, they managed to eliminate the blue-haired woman. Meanwhile, Lump engaged Tung in a fierce battle. After an extended struggle, Lump successfully incapacitated Tung. However, as he prepared to deliver the final blow, Think suddenly attacked Lump from behind, initiating a brutal fight. Despite the odds, Lump's unwavering determination ultimately led to his victory over Think. Lu made an attempt to board the ship in order to rescue Hien and the other hostages. He successfully located them and set them free. When Lump met Hien later on, it was revealed that she had been held captive by Tung. Lump tried to calm the tense situation. During a critical moment, he and bit Tung's hand, prompting Lump to attack him. However, as Lump was about to deliver the final blow, he chose to spare Tung's life. Instead, he approached he and, but suddenly, he was stabbed from behind, and Tung was shot dead by the police chief. Lump realized that he spared Tung's life because the police had surrounded the ship. After receiving medical treatment, Lump regained consciousness. After the incident, Lump and Hien were back home, seen praying for Lump's deceased wife. Hien deeply regretted not heeding her mother's advice, believing that none of this would have happened. Moral lesson from the story, it's wise to follow your mother's don't talk to strangers rule, ignoring it can lead to some suspicious job offer or taken out of the country.